I often get asked, how do you display your comic books in your comic book room? Well, today I'm gonna review a product just for that, and it's coming up. What's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics. Today we're gonna to review a product line that's gonna help you display your collection, whether it's comic books, DVDs, vinyl records, video games, or even trading cards. And I'm talking about the invisible displays from Collector Mount. Collector Mount was nice enough to send me a few of their products for me to review with the full disclaimer of, hey, don't try to sell our product for us, just give an honest review. So that's what I'm here to do for you guys today and they offer a wide range of products. This is the album, comic, and art mount. They also have specific mounts for DVDs. This will also hold games and 45s. Now for you that aren't old enough to remember 45s, they're smaller records, but these can be used to display those as well. It also sent me a couple of these CD mounts to review. And lastly, they sent me a trading card mount to review. Now these can be mounted on the wall or they don't have to be mounted. You can display them right on your shelf without any hardware to hang them on the wall. They provide everything you need beside the actual nail or whatever you're gonna hang it on the wall with. So nice to know you don't have to go out and buy anything else other than a nail or whatever you're gonna use to hang the product on the wall. I showed you the products that they sent me and let's go in and we'll go ahead and review each one. We're gonna start with the actual comic book art collector mount. So this can hold either raw comics, it can hold a vinyl album. If you want to do vinyl albums, you have a vinyl album collection. This will also hold art. There's a bunch of different opportunities for this. And it's really easy. It's just got a nut and a bolt on it. You can hand loosen it. And just so you know, in the description of this video, you will be able to find Collector Mount's website link, as well as links to the specific products if you want to buy them right from the description of the video. You'll also find a coupon code for 25% off of Collector Mount's website in the description of this video as well. So I did the eye bolt and then you just take the top off and then it's got a little thing of directions here. And it's basically these two pieces. So I, for the sake of showing in this video, I've got a slab here that I'm showing. And what you would do is you would basically just fit the two pieces together how you'd want the mount, like so. Put it in there where you have it set and then you just add the bolt back onto it. And if you want, I would suggest don't tighten it down all the way. So you can adjust the mount as you need it. Like that. And then it is invisible. And then it's got a place on the back for you to just, for you to hang it on your wall. And for the sake of this video, I didn't tighten it down too much, but you can adjust it however you want. These things work fantastic and they're really affordable. So they sell them in packs of, you buy one, or you can buy packs of multiple. So the more you buy, the cheaper it gets also. But that kind of displays how a slab would look on here. You could use it as a top loader. I wouldn't really recommend just a regular raw copy with the bag and board, because I can see the mount rubbing against it or whatever. So you definitely want it in some type of hard plastic, whether it's a top loader or a slab case. And that to me comes in handy, because a lot of my uh, slabs I have on a, a shelf, but it's only good for multiple comics. So if I wanted to have a smaller space on my wall and just wanted to display the one comic, this product comes in really handy for that. And like I said, it's very, very affordable. So the next one I wanted to show you was the DVD mount. How you use them is pretty much the same throughout all these mounts, except for the trading card mount, which I'll get to in a little bit. And like I said, each one has a little small instruction manual. And on collectormount.com, they have a video series of how, if you wanted to watch the video of how to use these, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. So again, the uh, DVD mount, once you open up the little cardboard, it has kind of some instructions on how you put it together, whether you wanted to use it as a shelf stand. I will show you that as well. If you didn't want to hang it up on the wall, it's pretty simple. I say simple, and then I'm having a hard time putting the, the nut on there. So, and then it would just, kind of sit together like so. And I do have, actually for the purpose of this video, I have this Mondo steel case in this display, but I kind of like this better for hanging on the wall. So I'm gonna take this out of here, put it in the collector mount so you can see how it looks that way. Steel case, Blu-ray, Alice in Wonderland, Mondo, still in the cellophane. And if I just wanted to display it on a shelf, you could just set it in here just like so. 
and it displays right on your shelf like that. Kind of like a little easel to hold it up. So that way, if you want to have it on the shelf, have multiple like that way you could do as well. Or like I said, if you wanted to hang it up on the wall, similar to the CGC or the comic book case, you would adjust, take the nut and bolt out, put it back on like so, adjust it to the size you would want, and then you just add the nut and bolt back in towards the bottom. Of course, you would do this on a table or something, not in midair, like I'm trying to show you on the video, but get this tight. And then there you have it. So that's it in the case. And then if you wanted to I'll show you for the sake of this, you could hang it on the wall just like so. And this works out. I actually like this way better than this more frame. It's not as, it's not as bulky and it's clear plastic. So it's almost invisible, which is what they kind of advertise. And I, I appreciate that. So you don't see anything gaudy or distract your eye from it. You just see what you're trying to display. They also have similar, just like the DVD, like I said before, they have the CD mount. I unfortunately got rid of all my CDs. I buy mostly digital now, but you can use these. A lot of people collect CDs, just like they have vinyl, they have a CD collection, so they could use these to display them as well. And it works the same whether you want to wall mount it or use it to display on a shelf or table or so forth. But the last thing I want to show you from the products is this trading card display. And it works the same way as well, whether you wanted to uh, display it on the table, shelf, or mount it on the wall. They got wall mount here. But we will take this. A couple different pieces here. You have the back part of the display mount. And then you have two pieces, a front and a back, to put the card in. It does come with a little adhesive paper to protect the plastic. So until you're ready to use it and display your card, you would keep the adhesive on here. And then it just easily peels off. But right now, I'm just going to keep it on here just to show you. And again, it does have instructions on how to use it. It says, remove plastic from the display unit, peel off protective sheet from both sides, slide the card and the clear plastic in front of it into the display unit, mount or display the unit either horizontally or vertically on the desired flat or wall surface. So to show you, I got a little Renee Young WWE card here or Mrs. Dean Ambrose or Mrs. Johnny Moxley, I guess you call her now. So you would put the card in between the two pieces of plastic. I'm going to reverse the plastic because I'm going to keep the adhesive on right now. Put the card in between the plastic and then it would just slide in between the little mount like so. So then now you can hang it on the wall. And if you had it, you could mount it sideways, however you wanted. Or you could just display it right on your table like this. The only bad thing I don't like about this trading card is one, I don't think you're going to put really expensive cards in here anyways, but if you're like kid or whatever, you're putting display in cards that weren't super valuable, but the one negative that I don't like about this is I don't know if you can really see it, but the way the plastic is, you get a slight, you get a slight bow in your card once it's slid into the display case. I don't know if that'll, once it, it's in there for a while and kind of the plastic I don't know if you want to call it breaking in or whatever, but where that bow will eventually come out of it. But there is, however so slightly, it's not a huge bow. It's very slight, but there is, and you could, there's a little give to it. But that's the only bad thing I have to say about the trading card display case. Everything else I really like, the DVD mount, I could see myself ordering some more of those. The CGC case mounts, or you could use them, like I said, for vinyl records, art, top loader comics. Anything you could fit, because they're adjustable. You can adjust it to multiple sizes. So it says it's good for like slabs or vinyl, but I'm sure you can find a bunch of different pieces for this, as long as they're not super heavy, because you are, it is plastic, and if you are hanging it on your wall, the heavier it is, the more give you have, and the more chance of it falling off, causing harm to your collectible, which I do not see. They are very sturdy though, I will tell you that. It just takes common. Common sense as far as how heavy a product you want to put in it. Like I said, it, with it being adjustable, you have multiple different purposes and sizes that you could put in here. Or, like we said before, you can just shelf mount it. You can just display your slab on a table like so. I enjoy the products. I'm glad they sent them to me. I've been thinking about buying them before. And this definitely helps persuade me to do so. So I will be buying more from their site. Like I said, I'll put the code on the screen here right now. That'll save you 25% off their website. 
and it's in the description of this video, as well as links to their products on Amazon. They sell the products on Amazon as well. So if you wanna buy them from there, the links to those products will be in the description of this video. I cannot thank Collector Mount enough for sending me these products. If you are using these products at home already, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And if you haven't, but you're thinking about buying them, let me know in the comments as well. Another great thing about this product is they make great Father's Day gifts. We got Father's Day coming up. You still have time. You hurry up, get them, get them in the mail. The collector, father, and your family will definitely appreciate this. Like I said, super affordable. Highly recommend this. They didn't ask me to recommend it, but I'm telling you, I like this product. I'm going to buy more of them. This is Brian with Simple Comics. Thanks for watching.